Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy, four nerds, by nerds, see how I stomp right on Ted there? <laughs> I'm Ted. And uh, we are going to do a Dungeons & Dragons monster infuser today. Uh, actually, uh, TV uh, Timmy from Twitter had uh, asked us to do this video, so uh, here we go. Before we get into that though, go down in the description below. If you haven't already signed up for the newsletter, do so now. It's a great way to get uh, tips delivered straight to your inbox, as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. So what he wants to know is what happens if you take a, a monster or beast and give it a higher level spell, how do you figure out the CR? Yeah. Now, I, I've said it from the beginning, CR system in 5th edition is a little wonky. In, in every edition, it's, it's always been a little more art and science. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a guideline and you, know, you really want to know what your party is capable of doing, what your party is capable of taking before you start you know, mucking around with your, you know, your own inventions and you know, just throwing things out there. So we basically took a random spell and a random monster. So I, I, I took the Kenku and said, well, the Kenku really have the, the ability to, to mimic stuff. And here we're going to have a specific one who has learned how to who has watched a mage cast a lightning bolt spell, and he's able to basically once a day figure out how to make it work. Yeah, he's got a magical focus he carries with him, <laughs> and then he, he says the words, right? With Perfectly. the mage's voice. With the mage's voice. So once a day, he casts a lightning bolt. So the Kenku is a CR quarter, 50 XP, and the lightning bolt's a third, third level spell, utterly devastating to a low level party. Yeah, first level party, you could, you know, if they stand in a line for you, <laughs> you, you can TPK them. You can totally knock them all out. Um, average damage on that, I believe, is 28. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like 28, 24, somewhere around there. So uh, utterly devastating. It's enough so, to knock out a third level party, um, you know, if they don't pass their saves. And it's a little weird, too, because, you know, if you look at, if you look in the DMG, like, they give you kind of like a guideline. Now, what page are you looking at there? Uh, in the DMG, I've got page 274 is where the actual chart is. Okay. So now the, the, the chart lists the, the challenge rating, the hit points, the average damage per round. Uh, so you've got the ability to try and scale. All right, well, what if I create my own creature? What should it be? So what are you, what are you looking for there, Dave? So, all right, so I'm looking at it, right? And like, you know, 24 is a CR3. 28 bumps that to a CR4, but again, like, then you have to weigh, like, well, it's not doing that every round. It's doing that once. once. You know, if you're doing 28 damage every single round, yeah, challenge challenge level four, you're probably going to, you know, be able to take the two fighters on before they wind up dropping you. Um, but at the same time, you know, here you've got a creature that's only got 13 hit points, but it's being able to dish out a ton. Right, if it you know if it gets the drop and and you know is a cannon right, and it's probably right. not by itself either. Correct. Uh, you know it's probably with other kobolds or lesser monsters, right? This right. is like a leader guy because he's learned one trick, so now he's in charge. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna follow me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So you know, so like, how does this play out? Like in this, in, so we just the easiest way was like, well, let's make one and see what happens, right? right? So, so we look at the at this chart. So if we say, all right, they're a quarter, and the the spell damage would put it at to a a challenge four. You know, you have to weigh in. All right, he's only going to be able to do it once, but a, a level one party, if if they fail their save, they're gone. Every single one of them is is sayonara, see you later, goodbye. They're dead. Um, and you know, even with his intelligence and charisma being a ten or an eleven, that the, the spell DC is only going to be a ten. So it's a Dex saving throw. Dex tends to you know be favored by adventurers because it's linked to armor class. So all of your classes that are uh, proficient in Dex are going to have no problem getting that. The other, the rest of the party. Well, gonna... that sounds like famous last words to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's because when it comes to saving throws, you know, you you, uh, you take the cake. Um, but for the most part, you know, your, your party's going to have a better than 50% chance of passing the saving throw on this. Um, so I look at, okay, you've got a quarter and you've got a four. So if you average it out to a two... You have to run it all through the mage test. 
right? So that's what we essentially did. We ran it through the mage tester. We did. We're like, well, how much? How many hit points does a third level mage, if you take average hit points, have and no con? And that that winds up being fourteen. As a, as a as a level three as a level three wizard, you take your six, you, you take the four, so that puts you at fourteen hit points. So as a third level mage fighting fighting this thing, if you pass your saving throw, have no damage, have no damage going into it, you're at zero. You're dropped. <laughs> uh, if, if you, you fail your saving throw, throw, you're just dead. You're gone. So, hopeful. so, so that told us that it's probably not a CR three. So yeah. All right, and then we went down from there. So we looked at at a you know challenge two, um, you know your your fighters not you know not going to be you know supremely uh, happy about taking that amount of damage. It's all right, you start off you know fighters. What do you say? We're going to have a fourteen con, so that puts you at at twelve at first level, uh, twenty at second. So a hardy a hardy warrior type could actually have fourteen or more hit points at first level. So yeah, just depending on your choice. So you you got the ability to take that uh, if you pass your save and not be not be dead. So it, it's definitely not a level one encounter either. No. So we we put it at a two. Um, I don't know what the the number is on uh, XP for a two, but no no. Dun, dun, dun. Does it Andy, Danny chart. Yeah, it does. That chart happens to be opposite of the chart we were using, so which I turned from. But, you know, a two is uh, 450. So adding that spell to a Kenku, which was normally at 50, just once we would say is worth 400 XP for, for the encounter. Because um, that, you know, a quarter is only a, only a 50. A challenge two is 450. That seems to be, you know, quite, quite the impact. Yeah, so, like, our, our idea is it takes at least a... If you're going to throw mix this into the encounter, you need at least... A third level party, mm -hmm. yeah, and like your mileage is going to be different. Obviously, the party gets to drop; they win initiative. He never gets his thing off. They get a, a buttload of free, free XP. A free XP. It's it's one of the it's one of the weird things if you take, you know, this more powerful ability and combine it with a lower level monster. Yes, which you, is which is the challenge we were given. Right, and and you really have to be careful with something like this because yes, is a challenge too, with four hundred fifty XP. Given the right situations for the party, it's just a, a major win for the party. But, you know, if these guys get the drop on them, you can literally shut the party down. And now, you know where this becomes fun? You take you take the same monster, give it immunity to electricity, right? And you just throw a bunch of them at a higher level party mm -hmm. where they're just completely not expecting it. And there's little light, lightning bolts are flying all over the place. So, you know, so that's, you know, that's where you can have a lot more fun with it. You know, obviously, like, this is a, this is an extreme example because this is what we're asked. And it, it seems like something fun and silly to do. But, you know, it, for, for good uh, monster design and encounter design, in my opinion, you know, you, would, you definitely have to do, do much lower level spells. Yeah. Yeah, or you should be on par with the, with the CR of the monster. Yeah, if, you, if you're going to take a kobold and, you know, give them all... Like a uh, shocking a, grasp, shocking, shocking grasp, or a magic missile. You know, you know, low level monster with a first level spell, not a big deal. You give a low level monster cantrips, not really, not really a big deal. You know, yeah, you're flame bolting everybody, and you happen to drop a couple nines and tens. And it becomes wow. more interesting. I agree. Yeah. Um, you know, and you could even reflavor to okay, these kobolds, giant are rats with shocking grasp. That's pretty funny. And I was saying, if you have kobolds and they have. Um, one of these elemental spells, and you reflavor it that they actually have a breath weapon. Oh yeah, you know, absolutely. That, that could be cool. They they could be you know some kind of linkage to the the real dragon. Well, or you could even just take a dragonborn breath weapon and slap it on them. Right. Because that'd be yeah, it'd be equivalent. Right. So you got you know lo lots of fun that you can play around with, but you have to really know what your party's capable of and what they're what they're capable of taking. Yeah, what the hell are you doing, TV Timmy? <laughs> to your players. Hey, I got I got no problems, you know, with, with answering these kind of questions. Yeah. I like thinking about these these odd scenarios and, and how I would actually do it. Um, you know, we we've said multiple times that we don't really tabulate XP. Yeah, uh, in we, our games. We, yeah. You know, we just level when, you know, when we really feel like letting the party level, it's like okay, you know, you've you've hit a spot. Yeah, go ahead, level. 
Yeah, we need you higher level. Level. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, and I think both both me and Ted kind of did the same thing, like slow advancement in the beginning or fast advancement in the beginning, and then slow slow it down to like every two sessions, where we, when we initially started, maybe every session, you know, up to third level, so you can get out of that like apprenticeship area, right, right. and then from there. But that's a totally different discussion. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you do do you do weird things like, and, and surprise your players with monsters using abilities that they just should not have uh, let us know down in the comments below while you're at it like share and subscribe you can also follow us on instagram so until next time stay, stay nerdy, nerdy.